and check out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go on a guided tour inside the original building. Yeah, we're gonna go see what it is and how they make this stuff and what it's all about in there. This remained the brewery, of course, after that. But on this side of the road, that building stayed empty for a few decades. Eyes glow like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates, a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystallized, fascinating. The Cascade Brewery. We just went and had a tour, but they wouldn't really let us film in them. So, yeah, we weren't allowed to. We just went and looked at the Cascade Brewery and did a tour. It was pretty good. It went for a while. Yeah. It was like an hour and 45 minutes yeah. so it went forever and we just finished up there had some lunch it was really good and yeah so we went and looked at solomon's cove distillery and we just went and looked around there We couldn't really film in there because it was kind of awkward and we didn't really think it was good enough footage to put in. We're back at Richmond because we're doing some more looking around the town because we didn't really get to see everything. There's the jail over there. Yeah, there's the jail that we went to. If I'm honest, I'll just make you cry And I don't want to fight with you We just had lunch and we got pies and it was at the Richmond Bakery or something it was called. So we went to a lot of antique stores but we weren't allowed to film inside. Yeah, so that was a bummer but we still get some other footage. Yeah. We're just going to walk back to the car now and we're going to go somewhere else but I'm not exactly sure where but somewhere on a drive. Hopping in the car now. I'm not even joking. There's like upstairs again in the attic, downstairs there's like a hundred back rooms. And we bought like a tennis set. Well, my mom did. It's like a, like a, uh, what is it, Aaron? It's like a cup and saucer. And it was pretty good because our mom had some and she collected them. So she wanted another one of that. And um, we might get a book about Port Arthur, it depends. And we're still looking at some stuff because there's actually really good stuff in here. So yeah, we'll kind of give you a quick snippet because I don't think we're supposed to film it here, but that's okay. <laughs> this is at the attic and it's very small, but it's literally packed in here. Like, how do we even get this much stuff? This is one of the tiny rooms. I'm like trapped away in a tiny little corner. And I'm like ducking on the clothes and stuff. Gotta get that good footage. <laughs> There's all toys and it smells like old in here. So <laughs> yeah, it's gotta go through this. Every, every time we step somewhere, every time we step somewhere, all the cabinets shake and everything like vintage is shaking and all the glass stuff, and it's like, eh, don't wanna break anything. Oh. 